Hey guys, welcome to another update of my 54 Aquarion corner tank. Many changes as usual. I uh, just want to go in with uh, a couple of the coral. Uh, you know, the clam did not make it. I did lose my Linkia star. I, did, I went away for the uh, New Year's and came back and uh, had a temperature drop. Uh, lost a lot of water and evaporation, so the return pump wasn't pumping the water back fast enough. And... Uh, temperature dropped dramatically and I lost a couple of coral and my clam and everything so I uh, did replace it uh, with a couple more coral as you can see here in the background behind the rose bubble tip anemone I got a nice bubble coral it actually opens up a lot bigger uh, with the tentacles all out just I was just cleaning the uh, glass just a few minutes ago before I just shot this video uh, the fish um, you can see here uh, more fish swimming around I did lose a couple of my uh, red saddle antheus. I'm down to just a male and female. And the sun, sunset antheus, I'm down just to the male. I believe that the uh, competition uh, for, you know, space, I guess, or just between the other fish. I knew one was going to pass because he just had an internal parasite in him, and it was just a matter of time he was eating, and then the internal parasite won. You could just see it in there. By their um, anal gland or anal uh, fin, uh, there's a black spot that's usually a worm in there and uh, pretty much uh, eats away at the uh, fish's nutrition. But you can see here I do have a star key damsel and a flame angel, which I decided to take a risk because obviously they are a 50 50 shot from eating your coral but uh, since he was small enough I gave him a shot and right as you can see he's swimming by and by by Pabonias is the frog spawn now this one's more rare because it's not black base but it has uh, neon green all around it's pretty spectacular with the Atenix on really hard to see um, but if you see it with the Atenix it's really really pops and uh, move my leather over here this is actually a the orange tip frog spawn, very rare frog spawn to get. It's very awesome. Branching, branching is the way to go with these frog spawn. I move my coral around. The Kenya tree coral is doing pretty good over here. I actually added a couple of mushrooms. These are from Vietnam. And uh, it's like purple, green in it. Uh, and then I have these orange yuma. And right by the orange yuma is my tail spot bunny hanging around. Uh, I got some eight cans. Trying to see how they turn out. And before early in the video, which you might not see now, was my convict circus clown goby, or not clown goby, but circus goby, they call it. He's pretty cool, hangs upside down. I did get rid of my radiating uh, urchin. He was picking in, on the uh, toadstool over here. Uh, he was eating, I don't know if he was eating the, the algae on it, but it's actually really damaging the coral itself. So. How to get rid of them, and uh, just went with the tuxedo urchin here. They're very, very passive and uh, much a better urchin, especially in my tank. Uh, the clownfish is doing great. Still don't, uh, they still don't um, host an anemone. I wish they did, but uh, maybe in time they'll realize it. It's uh, something way to go. But the Starkey damsel is actually one of the most peaceful damsels. It's a deep water damsel. He did get beat up a little bit by the. Uh, frostbite clownfish uh, but he's been doing pretty good since then that's why he's a little mark on him if you can see uh, but he's been doing pretty good after that they're the most probably one of the most the least aggressive of the damsel family so that's probably because they are from deep water this one's actually uh, from Tonga but they do come from Australia it's an awesome awesome damsel and uh, he's probably the only damsel with trust in the tank without trying to be uh, aggressive Postal is doing good. It usually is open up, but I was doing uh, a water change. The leather is doing pretty good over here. Uh, I got actually some red mushrooms. It's really hard to see from this angle. It's hard to get in to get a focus, but it has an orange rim on those red mushrooms in the back. And I have a blue sympodium uh, coral right there that's been doing pretty good. I do have a porcelain crab right here that's hanging out. And I did have a school of sexy shrimp, which was eaten by my hyphen parsley. And it's really hard to see him because he's more, you know, seclusive, but uh, 
if you just seen in the past in the background here by this particular anthias, my blue striped pipefish was swimming around. So yeah, this is well stocked this tank. Uh, but again, I have fish in different different types of fish. You know, some swimmers, some hang on the rock, some perch. Uh, I do have two cleaner gobies. One's a sharp nose, and one is a blue stripe. The blue stripes right there, and the it's really hard to see with the glare, but by the power head, there's the uh, sharp nose. So they usually hang over there. The flame angel is in and out of the rocks all day. It's by far one of the beautiful uh, angels out there. And uh, just, you know, there's always a risk with an angel. But I uh, decided to give him a shot. And there's the uh, convict goby or circus goby. And it's really hard to get them as long as I can get a nice focus on them. Bear me one second. I it's focusing on the wrong thing here. Maybe I'm just too close. There we go. Awesome guy. Hangs up upside down. I love how he swims. He's like he just moves his little fins and he just moves around. He's just a really cool goby. Really, really awesome. Hard to get. You don't really see him too often. So when I saw him, I jumped on him. But uh, nice little guy. And then I got my Yasha goby, which is hanging right. There he is. The Yasha Gobi is doing pretty good. I still have my Hawaiian Dwarf Eel. It's moving around. It hides most of the time. And I do have that Marine Beta. It's still about an inch and a half, but you'll never really see him. Especially in this tank. Uh, he hides in the... say he's well hidden in the rocks. So, But the fish here doing very well. Again, I do have an overstocked tank, so the coral I have, as you can see, most of it are considered more of the easier kind of coral to take care of mainly because I do have a high amount of bio load and SPS is just not gonna happen I try a couple little frags here and there but they just tend to die uh, they just can't handle the bio load I have even though my protein skimmer is probably one of the better ones especially for a 54 gallon tank it's rated for 250 gallons so uh, still um, I like fish a lot more. I do love the coral, but uh, I really love the action in the tank, so that's why I do have a lot of fish in my tank. And the fish, outside that damsel getting beat up a little bit, th these other fish are very, and that one's just pooping, but uh, other fish are getting along very well. So they don't really uh, fight too much. I mean, the anthias will fight each other in because of the ranking, and the male gets a female. Now, there's no much difference in the male and the female in the red sandal because it's, it's a, they are a deep water antheus but what I notice is that this male and I can tell he's the male because he's more the rest one by the anal fin it's more yellow now the because it's hard to see but if you see there's a little more yellow to it and if you look at the other one what well, that's actually the sunset male that's actually a male um, the other antheus right here if you look at, at the anal fin there it's clear so that's the only kind of distinctive uh, marking I could tell to separate a male and a female, other than the size. Male, this male is over here. I only went in somewhere, but uh, is a little bigger. There he is. But they do get along. Um, they're not as aggressive compared to some of the antheus in the family. Believe it or not, the blotchy antheus is a more aggressive antheus. But uh, but these three antheus in here. He doesn't really bother as much. I mean, he'll chase him, get him out of his way when he knows he's the boss, but he doesn't really chase him heavy. And as you see, the circus go, we go wide. But yeah, the Babonis is doing very well. Fish are doing very good in this tank. Uh, just I uh, gotta keep my eye on my Starkey damsel, but it is a damsel. It will do okay in the long run because it's very hardy. So I hope you guys' tanks are doing well, and uh, stay tuned for the next update. And uh, we'll see you soon. I mean, it's just a beautiful frog one. You don't get them like that. Not every day. Stay tuned, guys.